Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a shirt just like this. Now, today we're going to be using paint.net. This is one of the shirts I'm making for this group that we just created. Uh, make sure to join it, I'll put the link in the description. We've got some cool shirts right there. We've got the Check It shirt and the Supreme shirt so far. Uh, this one will be out soon. And uh, yeah, I'm also creating an advertisement. But anyways, enough of that. So first, what you're going to want to do is download Paint.net. It's easy. You'll probably know what to do. But just click New here, and what you're going to want to type in is 585. Then click Tab and type in 559. And then you just click OK, and you should have this right here. Now, what you want to do next is search up Roblox Shirt Template and click Images. Now, I recommend using the third one. It has to have this squared background that just shows that it's transparent background. And what you want to do is just click Control V and there you go. Next thing you want to do is create another layer and drag it underneath the background. Now, this is going to be the layer for whatever colour you want. In this case, I'm just going to do a, let's say, I don't know, let's just do a, let's just do a dark grey. Just search up dark grey. Just click images. Well, search for whatever colour you want, but click on whatever is best for you. And then just click Control V again. Keep camera size if it says that. And boom. So the next thing you're going to want to do is search up Roblox sh uh, shading template. And uh, this is going to be putting the material on, as you can see right here. But uh, in this case, I'm going to use this one right here but make sure it's got a transparent background like those squares and stuff otherwise it will not work and then control v again oh forgot to do some guys create another layer and move it on top of layer two then click control v and drag it so that it fits and so that it looks good whatever you're suitable with or whatever you want and like that there we go now the next step is adding text or images. So in this case, you just click the toolbox here. You just click text and find whatever font you want. I'm just going to use, let's say, this one. And all I'm going to type in is Beast Rocks. And that's it. That's how you create a t-shirt. That's it. You can add more logos if you want. But uh, this is all I'm doing. I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm also going to get a shape. Rectangle. And I'm going to underline it just like that. And then get the paint bucket. And fill it in. So that is pretty much how you create a t-shirt. But there's one last thing that we need to do. You need to click save as, and then just click PNG. Save it on your videos or whatever. That's what I'm saving it as. I'm just going to call it, uh, let's say, Beast Shirt. Click OK. Click flatten, because that's what you need to do. And it's saved. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your Create tab. and scroll down to shirts but if you're creating it for a group click group creations and scroll down to shirts in this case i'm going to be making it for our roblox group beast rocks tv official rb alex if you haven't joined that join the link is in the description and um, we're going to be doing a 40 robux giveaway on it soon um yep scroll down to shirts and now what you're going to want to do once it's loaded By the way, the breakout you just saw, 
dirty, sorry, but that's the old breakout. We made a new version and it looks way better. Yeah, if you don't know what breakout is, it's just a Roblox game like Jailbreak that we're making that will be out soon. Not soon, but you know. So just click on your shirt, this one. Make sure that you click the right one. Be sure. I'm just gonna call it that. I don't know why. Next thing you wanna want, gonna want to do is click configure. Here you can change the name and the description and if it's open for comments. But in this case, I'm just clicking sales. I'm clicking item for sale. If this pops up, just click save. And then here you can type the price of which you want it to be. As you can see, the minimum is five. Uh, I'm just gonna put it up for, let's say, let's do eight Robux. Click save. Now, if you go to details, you can see the, the symbol said, but it will go away and people will be able to see your shirt. As you can see, I can write a comment, I can just click, and we can just type whatever we want. We can just type, like, nice shirt. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hope this was helpful. Try us to 150 subscribers. We're really close.